Users of SoundWhale can do a live mix for a client that is synchronized to video. There are two ways to do this. One is using synchronization, and the other is using video streaming. Let's start with the synchronization method. We'll use Pro Tools again, so check the manual if you're using any other software. For this example, we'll be working at a sample rate of 48K, so let's open the preferences and make sure that the correct one is selected. You'll also need to choose the frame rate you'll be working at. And here, you can choose any offsets if you like. Local offset is for the timeline offset with your DAW, and network offset is for the timeline offset with the other user. So now, let's launch Pro Tools. Go to the playback engine and select Sound Whale. And then open your session. Sometimes you'll get a message that says Pro Tools cannot set the sample rate. So what we do now is go back to the New Session dialog and select the sample rate that we want and create a new session. Then, immediately open the session you want and you can trash the temporary one that you just created. Next, go to the Setup menu, then go to MIDI Input Devices. Make sure SoundWhale MMC is selected. Then, go to Setup, Peripherals, and click the Machine Control tab, and enable MIDI Machine Control in the Remote or Slave section, and make sure ID 127 is selected. In the Session Setup window, look at the timecode and make sure that this matches with the one in SoundWhale. Next, go back to SoundWhale and turn on the Sync button. The Sync button has two options. Local, which is for controlling the timeline of our external software, and Network, which is for controlling the timeline of our contact. Choose Network here. The Network option automatically includes Local as well. And now a note about synchronization. When we use either Local or Network synchronization, it's crucial that we use a sync track. If we are working with audio from external software, then the sync track should be imported on a new track in that software. I'll put one here. When importing a sync track, make sure that it covers the entire length of the timeline that you intend to use. The files that we provide range from one minute to two hours. So choose the most appropriate size for you. If you're not using external software, but you still want to control the timeline of another user, then you open the sync track from the audio file panel inside of SoundWhale, and connect that to Send 1 and Send 2. But in this case, since we're using Pro Tools, we won't need it. Now, make sure you can control Pro Tools before calling your contact. Select the Pro Tools outputs as the sources of your send panel, and then press play. Notice how the timecodes match as well. Get exactly what you want, so long as you're not too specific. Now let's make a call and see how things look from the receiving user's side. Make sure your contact also has network synchronization turned on and has the same timecode settings, sample rate, and buffer size settings. Have your contact open the exact same video file inside of SoundWell. And now, we're ready to make a call. You will see that my contact's cursor position will move. I can essentially control their timeline. And use the stop and play commands as well. I have a very important appointment and I'll be gone for two now hours. Now my contact is receiving audio from my Pro Tools session that is synchronized to the video in their timeline. Please be aware that if you're connected with an audio or a video stream with another user, seeking positions in your timeline will not give good results. So please press stop before moving positions and then press play. What was just seen is audio post-mixing using synchronization. It is a recommended way to work between desktop computers. 
However, for any reason you want to stream the entire video without synchronizing machines, Soundwhale can do that as well. But it takes up more processing power, and it can be really slow with a bad connection. In this segment, you'll see how to stream a video file that's synchronized with a live audio mix. The person that wants to stream the video file needs to first open it, and then attach the audio panel that needs to be streamed. In this case, we'll be streaming from Pro Tools, so we'll need to use the Send panel since Pro Tools is attached to that. Since we are still using local synchronization with external software, we still need our sync track inside of Pro Tools. Additionally, if our audio source is from external software, like in this case, then we should turn on the Wait button to maintain full synchronization. Now that we are set up, we must decide what type of call to make with our contact. We can do video stream only and use the session chat, which is the text chat. Or we can use the video chat, which requires a good connection and computing power, so make sure to increase your buffer size. The buffer size is located in the Soundwell Preferences menu. But a better option might be to use the video chat and turn the camera off, so we just use the microphone to communicate. The video chat will default in the camera off position. After selecting, let's do it with video stream only, we hit connect. Now you're connected to your contact, and you can press play immediately in your timeline. Here we are. As stated earlier, seeking while playing can throw off synchronization, so make sure to press stop before you play. Where the video stream really shines is when you're streaming to an iOS device. This way, if you're on the move, you can review a mix with picture from anywhere. Let's make a call and see. Keep in mind that the video file streaming can only be initiated on the desktop version of the software. Once connected, the streaming side presses play. Here we are. Notice that when streaming video, the audio channels are not active. However, we can use the microphone from the video chat or the session chat to communicate. Again, your connection should be really good for a video file stream. We recommend that you convert your videos to low resolution so that the stream can have a smooth transmission.